All right, good morning. This is Thursday, December 2nd, and this is the weekly briefing for Central North Carolina covering the period from today through next Wednesday the 8th. Quick overview of the weather for the next seven days. For the most part, the forecast is expected to be dry um, through at least Saturday, but maybe even beyond that. Um, through Saturday, we are expecting above normal temperatures, so today, tomorrow, and Saturday will all be pretty nice. So if you want to spend some time outside, now's the time to do it. Uh, once we get into Sunday and Monday, temperatures might decrease a bit. We have a high pressure ridging in from the north that might um, allow some of the cooler air to, to seep in and, and maybe highs not make it quite as far up as they had been previous days. Um, and then we might rebound a bit on Mondays for temperatures before a uh, pretty strong cold front moves through uh, Monday, Monday night. And so Monday night and Tuesday will be noticeably cooler than the previous several days. With that front, there is a slight chance for some light rain, but for now the, you know, the forecast remains dry. The next chance for appreciable rainfall will be uh, middle of the week, Wednesday, Thursday time period with the next weather system. That's outlined here with the Weather Prediction Center's QPF forecast. And you can see through uh, Monday night, no rainfall over central North Carolina, just a little bit in the coastal plain uh, along the coast there, and then in the far western part of the state in the mountains. But as we get into the middle of the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, we do start to see some rainfall creep into the forecast, generally a half an inch or less over those two days. But again, that's pretty far out. And the confidence with that system is still a little bit on the low side. So we'll keep an eye on those numbers and hopefully we'll see them uh, tick up a little bit. But for now, that's our next best chance for, uh, for rainfall. And continuing with the theme of rainfall, the, our lack thereof has uh, resulted in an increase uh, in the drought severity across much of central North Carolina. We have introduced now a uh, D2 drought, severe drought in the uh, Sand Hills, um, generally the area from uh, about Maxton through Fayetteville, so Scotland, Hoke, Cumberland counties, and, and even re reaching a bit into uh, Harnett and, and Sampson there um, for Central North Carolina. So it's getting drier, obviously with the lack of rain and the warmer than average temperatures, that trend will probably continue at least, you know, through the weekend. Um, hopefully we get some decent rain with that system middle of the week and then another system on that system's heels. Uh, but it's, I think it's gonna take a, a, a number of wetting rainfalls to really um, kick the, the drought severity back a, a couple of notches. So uh, we will keep our fingers crossed for that. But um, for the meantime, um, drought has, uh, has worsened in the, in the last week or two. And with very little to speak of of rainfall, there's no chance for severe weather. Um, looking at the next eight to 14 days, uh, still looking at above normal temperatures and near normal uh, precipitation. I did take a peek at the uh, the one month outlook, and we start to creep into the below uh, below normal precipitation um, range of things. So uh, hopefully that changes and and we get some improvement. But just just as a FYI, heads up, looking forward. And that's pretty much all I've got. So uh, just real quick re recap, uh, looks like it's gonna be dry through at least the weekend, if not into early next week. Uh, mostly above normal temperatures through Saturday, a bit cooler on Sunday, warming up again on Monday, and then significant cool down behind the front Monday night. Um, <clears throat> the next chance for rain that we're expecting is, is middle of the week, Wednesday, Thursday timeframe. So keep your fingers crossed for some, some decent rainfall totals there. And just a quick note with hazards, uh, there is still a burn ban in place across the state from the Forest Service. Um, and so while we don't have any um, sort of increased fire danger because the, uh, the wind and humidity criteria is not being met, they still do have that burn ban in place. So um, if you're, you know, if you're out and about, be cognizant of, of what you're, you know, what you're doing as far as that goes. So 
With that, I will pause here. And if anybody has any questions, please feel free to put them in the question box.